Let us move on to the next one, and it is number eight. Whoops, sorry. Eight. Do most stops occur at night? So nothing having to do with drugs, just do most stops occur at night? And this one, I want you to apply what you've just learned, and um, that's all I'll say. Apply what you just learned to answer this question. All right, I think we're going to go through this one. I don't know if you feel rushed. I'm thinking like the the idea I had for the answer is pretty simple, so I don't want you to like, you know, be like, oh, I can't figure this one out, and it's just a, a, a small change to what we've already done. So um, I know that part of this is like I didn't define night, and do I want a yes or no answer? Do I want a plot? And I left that ambiguous. But um, – I was hoping that one uh, one step you might take is thinking like, well, I can use hour to, to determine time of day, and so I'll just start with stop date time dot dt dot hour, and then take the val. Well, you could just start with the hour, and I can get the hour from that. So we're just using our date time uh, attribute of hour, and then you might say, oh well, I'll just take the value counts of that. And now I know that the most number of stops occurred at 10 a.m., followed by 9 a.m., followed by 11 a.m., followed by 2 p.m., followed by midnight, or sorry, 11 p.m., followed by midnight, etc. And then we talked about the previous exercise, like, oh, well, it's easier to understand these trends if you have a plot. So you probably thought, well, I'll just throw in a dot plot. So this is what I was hoping you would kind of get to. And then you'd get this, and you'd be like, what have I learned? And you're not quite sure what you've learned. I love those plots. Um, what is the thing I need to do to, quote, fix this plot? Sort what? Sort the index, sort by hour. That's what I heard. So let me clarify that. Let me... Go back to the value counts. Value counts, in case you never noticed, it outputs a series, okay? So the thing on the left is the index, the thing on the right is the actual value. It is a series, and series have two methods for sorting, sort index and sort values. And value counts does a sort values in descending by default. You don't have to do it. Um, so if we want, if we just say sort values, for instance, we'll just be sorting the values on which are on the right. And if we do sort index, uh, we sort on the left, okay? And it turns out that pandas does not assume when you do that line plot, it doesn't assume, oh, well, you meant to sort it, so I'll go ahead and sort it for you. So it doesn't do that automatically. You need to sort it um, if you want this plot to look right. And... Um, and what we see, do most stops occur at night? Um, well, I guess it could depend how you define night, but it seems clear to me that most stops occur during the day. Okay. Yeah, please. Right. Sure. So you were essential, uh, essentially what he was saying is he actually decided, okay, night is from, what did you decide? 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. is night, so let's filter by that, right? And then um, decide, I mean, well, that's, yeah, that's a valid way. And uh, let's see, so ri.stop date time. Date, time, dot, dt, dot, hour. I know it's really long to type. If you're going to type that a bunch of times, you could just create it as a column. But you would do something like this is, uh, let's see, greater than 4. And, and because we have multiple conditions, we would um, put them in parentheses. So greater than 4 and ri.stop, date, time dot dt dot hour is whoops yeah no that's right and is uh less than 
what did we say? 10, 10 p.m., 8 p.m.? Okay, so like uh, 22. Um, so we could take that, and that would be that data frame, and you could just do dot shape, and you could see, all right, 68,000 rows are between uh, daytime and ri.shape in general is 90,000 rows. So it looks like 20-ish thousand rows are between the night hours. So this would be another way to do it. Um, you wouldn't get the benefit of the graph, but you would get like raw numbers to look at. Yeah, in the back. Right, right, yeah. Oh, uh, that sounds why. So you just, let's see, took this. But wait, you didn't, s you still selected drugs related. Or you did not select anything. You just replaced this with dot count. Oh, let's take a look at that. All right. Uh. Dot count. Let's just let's just take a look at this. Uh, uh, oh, you still selected just a column. Um, I uh, let's take a look at this after. I don't want to try to decide what I think of this right now. Right, but every row is a stop, and at the moment, I'm a little confused by the different lines. Um, if someone is like, I know the answer, please tell me right now. Yeah. Ah, uh, that sounds right. It's because of missing val. If for any column that has no missing values, I will get the right plot. But if I choose a column that has missing values, I'll get a plot that Got it. Thank you for that. So he's just saying if we, we know there are no missing values in stop date, and that looks identical. Great. Love it. Very cool. Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, she's asking if you decided there was a daytime, an evening, and a night. So did I? Yeah, daytime, evening, night. You had three categories, and you wanted to show the number of stops in each of those categories. Okay, I would um, map, actually, uh, yeah, I was thinking if there was an exercise, but um, I would map the hours to categories, and then I would just plot a, a bar plot of that category. So. That would be one way. Uh, back there, did you have? Okay. All right. Great questions. Love these. Um, all right. So my only lesson in this particular exercise was to be conscious of sorting when plotting because when the sorting, if it's expecting it sorted and you don't sort it, it's not going to do it for you. So that's all. All right. The next one, oh, this is a good one. I mean, they're all good, but this one is especially good. Um, all right. 